After one year flying quadcopters and being an RC enthusiast, I have accumulated a fair number of batteries. Different sizes, shapes, and ratings with different chargers and connectors. Advancing from toy grade to hobby grade drones has introduced me to battery, technology, and science. This knowledge is useful for safety, proper maintenance, and the correct applications. LiPo, or lithium polymer batteries, are the most popular choice in the RC community. With a lighter weight, higher capacity, greater discharge rate, and the ability to be constructed in almost any shape, these packs are the top choice for drone and fixed wing pilots. The most prevalent number on a LiPo pack is the milliamp per hour rating. This number represents the capacity or flight time. The higher the number, the longer the flight time. As that rating goes up, so does the physical size and weight of the pack. So this is where you need to find that balance between performance and flight time. The S rating is the cell count in series. C rating represents the discharge rate in amps. Sometimes there are two numbers. The first represents the continuous rating, while the second represents a burst rating of around 10 seconds. Using the C rating times the amps, you can calculate the current draw that a battery can deliver. The voltage on the label is the nominal voltage, meaning the default or resting voltage of the pack. A LiPo cell has a nominal voltage of 3.7 volts. Connected in series, the voltage of each cell is additive. Fully charged cell has a voltage rating of 4.2 volts and a minimal voltage of 3 volts. Going below the minimal 3 volts will lead to the degradation of the cells and may damage or reduce the lifespan of the battery pack. Understanding battery labels and your quadcopter or RC specifications is important when upgrading or replacing batteries. Knowing the minimum and maximum voltage rating is essential so you don't damage any components but get the best performance. Make sure your ESCs can handle any upgraded pack along with FPV and VTX components. Longer flight times require heavier batteries which can take away from performance. It's all about finding the right balance between flight time and performance. Racing and freestyle pilots are interested in higher discharge rate, the C rating, to get that punch and those bursts of speed they need. A drone photographer is going to be more concerned with longer flight times, the milliamp per hour rating. Not too concerned about the maximum discharge rate. Toy grade quadcopters will always come with their own 5 volt 2 amp USB style charger. But as you progress into larger batteries with more cells, you will need to purchase a good quality balance charger. LiPo batteries will have two connectors, the power connector and the balance connector. A balance connector will have one wire for every cell and a common ground wire. This will allow each cell to be individually monitored and balanced during the charge. Before charging, always verify the charger is in LiPo mode. The recommended charge rate is the milliamp per hour rating divided by 1000. So a 1300 milliamp per hour pack should be charged at 1.3 amps. 
You can charge some packs at a greater rate, but to get the best battery life and performance, go with the recommended value. Do not store batteries fully charged or fully depleted. Proper storage voltage should be 3.8 volts per cell at room temperature. This gives the pack a good resting state. A good charger will have a storage setting on it and will safely discharge or charge the pack to the proper storage voltage. LiPo batteries don't fare well in extreme heat or cold. Extreme heat can cause bad things and cold temperatures can damage the pack. Store in a fireproof container or at the very least a LiPo fire resistant bag. To dispose of your LiPo battery, first discharge the battery as far down as possible and place in a saltwater bath for 24 hours. Use a non-metallic bucket with a mix ratio of a half cup of salt to one gallon of cold water. Salt water is conductive and it will short out the battery. Continue to soak until the voltage reads zero and then dispose of in the garbage. Unlike other batteries, LiPo batteries are not hazardous to the environment and are accepted in most landfill sites.